Hello, this is Mark, and we're back with Reptile Month. What I have for you today is a really neat little animal. A lot of people like turtles. They're a lot of, like more likable than snakes for most people. This is an ornate box turtle. Ornate box turtles are characteristic by these really cool lines on their on their back. You can see the like cool striping on it. These guys are found pretty much over most of the state. And this is not a, a tortoise. A lot of people consider these a tortoise. They're not. They're actually more closely related to your pond turtles, like your red eared sliders and your river cooters, than they are uh, tortoises. And a tortoise typically will have different kind of feet. If you would look, they actually have on the back of a tortoise, looks more like an elephant foot. These are really kind of neat animals. They're, they, they'll eat, they're omnivores. They'll eat about anything. But these, this particular type tends to eat more meat. So they'll eat a lot of insect food. They'll raid a mouse nest and eat all the mice in there. You wouldn't think something like this would, like a turtle, a little box turtle would be eating meat, but they love meat. They're, they're pretty neat that way. So the, the box turtles here in Texas are kind of in trouble a little bit because it takes them so long to mature and reproduce and the reproduction rate is kind of slow. They don't lay many eggs. And the way they breed, they have to come together, with the male and the female is kind of a chance encounter. These guys can't really cover large areas very quickly. Uh, so they have to chance encounter, so they're, the rate they lay eggs is slow. The babies take forever to get big enough to actually reproduce again. So they have so many predators can take them out as babies. The eggs get dug up and eaten a lot by raccoons and other animals that, that eat them. So they have a lot of pressures already. So their numbers are bad enough that Texas Parks and Wildlife made it illegal to sell these. At one time you could actually collect them and sell them. Now it's illegal because their numbers are kind of getting dropping and all the pressures they have on them. Thanks for joining us for Reptile Month. Keep a lookout for more posts on social media.